texture-y light but you're gonna know that i'm here baby okay living i hope you guys are doing well today and living life multiple all right all right so i am back with another video today okay and if you can tell from the title we're gonna be doing another make see review um this time y'all so i have the winter luxe collection um these are gonna be fragrances i'm assuming are gonna just be you know perfect for the winter season um putting in a maybe diffuser oil i feel like my camera is crooked put it in a diffuser oil linen spray um just all the warm cozy um fragrances for the upcoming winter season okay we are if you are in the northeast you already know it's it's getting chilly okay so i am gonna be reviewing and you are it's been a minute. I know it's been a minute, but I've been, um, had some Avenger events uh, that I attended, you know, with my business goals and endurance living. Okay, so I'm busy with that. But y'all, I want to say thank you to English Garden for letting me know about the 99 cent sale. Y'all, y'all, I stocked up, stocked up. So super excited. So I'm definitely coming in with another view, review soon of all the fragrances that I got in the 99 cent sale. So y'all stay tuned for that. Okay. But let's go ahead and get into the review. Yeah, yo, I'm struggling over here. <laughs> I need to get another um, counter height stole. Okay. Anyway. So this is the Makesy Winter Luxe. And we gonna get into it so I already went ahead and labeled my tester strips um, so let me go ahead and get them in okay y'all so the first scent is natural plum noir and Davana vanilla Davana Davana y'all I tell you all the time Maxi be having me go pull out the dictionary a thesaurus and be trying to find out what these uh, fragrance notes are. Okay, so. Mm. Okay, y'all, I didn't even, um, I didn't put it on the test strip yet, but just from the width to my nose, out the bottle, it smelled like alcohol, like a, li a liqueur. So let's see. Hmm. I'm definitely getting some musky and incense. <sighs> okay, y'all. Honestly, this is reminding me of a high-end store with, you know, those bougie type perfumes that they don't necessarily smell, you know, all that great. But for some reason, people are attracted to it because it's just a high expensive <laughs> perfume i don't know honestly that's what it's reminding me i think that whole noir and i don't know what divana i don't know what that is so i'm gonna have to look that up would i be using this in the winter no this would be a pass for me straight out the bottle it smelled like a um like a hard liquor and a musk and incense all together. The plum, I'm not smelling, but that's this is a pass for me. Okay, sorry. Not sorry, really. Next one is Damask Plum in Velvet Cashmere. Y'all, even if I don't love the scent, the names, like, it, it already got me. They get a they get an A for effort with the name, you know? Even though the scent, I might not care for it. You know, it might not be my thing. 
But let's go. Ooh, I just, I didn't even put it, but as soon as I opened up the cap, that plum definitely came through. So this is Damask Plum and Velvet Cashmere. I can definitely picture this in a nice jazz lounge with velvet and furniture and just lush pillows and a nice cocktail and just listening to some smooth jazz i didn't even put the tester strip to my nose but straight from like i got the whiff of the plum and i'm i'm getting the velvet okay so let's go ahead y'all straight yes oh my goodness this is like this is definitely a scent that, so I was just giving you a description by, just on the name of the fragrance itself, but the smell, it matches, and I can't think of anything that is like close to the smell, but it's just giving me a sophisticated jazz lounge, you're chilling, you're like, it's not that boring jazz, like a nice smooth jazz that you can kind of just, you know rock to it a little bit yes I can definitely imagine just having a nice like even putting this like in a um a little diffuser and having the mist like in your living room I can see this in a nice very elegant tall ceiling elegance it's giving me a little shimmer so if it's if you don't feel a jazz lounge thing i can definitely see that a nice elegant home with tall ceilings just this very um detail or neat type of furniture and it's just elegant it's classy and i'm loving it yes yes oh my goodness that smells so good so so good okay we gotta move along we gotta move along the next one is, let me get my tester strip, Natural Luscious Mandarin in Warm Amber. I'm loving the name. Yes, indeed, I am loving the name. Where's my strip at? Okay. So let me see if I can get a hint of something as soon as I pop off this cap, because you know, y'all, this is my work here. <laughs> this is besides the point. You know, like, because when I go to film, it's like, okay, let me check my background. You know, I got supplies and stuff. You know, hey, it's my workspace. And I've been seeing that, um, that sound, hearing that sound in the um, reels on Instagram and stuff. Everybody don't want to post anything because my workspace is messy. But it's a call to workspace for a reason. Because it's your workspace. You're actually working. It's your craft. And I'm rambling. Anyway, back to the point. <laughs> natural see i miss y'all guys i miss y'all it has been a minute okay luscious mandarin and warm amber so i typically love anything with amber in it it's warm it's cozy you can always count on amber to give you that okay that amber scent okay hmm okay this is definitely warm it's slightly masculine just slight it's not too much i definitely smell it's like a warm masculine amber and then the mandarin it just kind of lends itself to just a little citrus um but it's really nice this is a really nice cozy scent i can just imagine um, a Saturday or Friday night in front of the fireplace and um, you have this scent just burning or you have it in a diffuser or just whatever um, I could just imagine this like in the living room it is very warm it is cozy it has a slight woodsy scent but it's not too much but I'm definitely smelling that amber and that mandarin coming in so this is definitely a yes a nice warm and cozy scent for me winter okay next one is creamy almonds and clove buds okay so I'm feeling like this is gonna be clove 
dark little buds. I'm feeling like this is gonna be a little nutty scent, but it's creamy, so it's not gonna be oh too nutty for you. So let's go ahead and dab this on the tester. Oh, there, okay. All right. Oh. Y'all, I'm actually surprised by this scent. It smells a little sweet. That creaminess, you definitely get the creaminess. So if you're worried about, no, I'm not a nutty person. Okay, you might be nutty, but. <laughs> no, okay, I'm just joking. It, the creamy, you definitely, the creaminess, you are definitely getting that scent right off the bat it is not overly nutty it is oh this reminds me of a liqueur um is it amaretto i don't know like an amaretto cake um but this is really nice i can imagine though having this in the bathroom like in a type of hand soap or um it smells more of kind of like a like you use like in a bath and body product but this is really nice very very good i am getting a slight bit of citrus coming in not too much of the clove but that might just be how my nose is set up okay but that is nice this next one is bronze Oris in pink suede. So like, I don't know what Oris is. Let me know down below what Oris, O-R-R-I-S. If you know what that is, let me know down below. Pink and pink suede. Now that pink suede, I'm feeling like it's gonna be like, mm -hmm. but let's go ahead and check it out. Okay. Y'all, I miss it. Okay, that's pretty light. I wouldn't think about having it in the winter, but okay, let's see. Mm, okay, give it some time. So I don't know what Oris is. This reminds me of a fragrance. I don't know. It reminds me of like, and high end fragrance. It's light, but it's not the type of light fragrance that is just like, ah, it's like a light fragrance that like, boom, I'm light, but I'm here. Jury, light, but you're gonna know that I'm here, baby. Okay, that's what it's giving me. So that, that's a yes, that's definitely like, I could imagine you having that fragrance like in your living room obviously live around all the time your bedroom it's definitely nice light but like mm, type of fragrance okay okay next one is how y'all say gala 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 apple okay there we go gala apple and golden patchouli okay Ooh, this cap on extra extra tight so when i'm thinking about patchouli i'm already thinking about earthy with a bit of apple that's that's what i'm already imagining it would be so gala gala apple and golden patchouli Y'all, I almost fell off. Y'all, I don't think I ever smelled a fragrance like this before. It's, oh, this smells really good. Oh my goodness. This could definitely double as a fall fragrance too. Or like, who cares? You can burn any type of fragrance year round, whatever. But, It is giving me, you are getting that patchouli, but you know, patchouli is earthy, but that golden is just 
that gold, you know, I'm all about golden over here, okay? But that golden, but truly, it's, it's doing something, okay? I don't know exactly, but it's, it's good. It's, it's real good. Golden patchouli. So the patchouli, like I said, is earthy, but the goldenness is giving it some type of richness. And you have that apple, that gala apple in there. And it's giving a little bit of, you know, the apple vibe there. But that patchouli is definitely that golden patchouli is showing out and it's a fragrance I've I've never smelled anything like this before. And it smells very, very good. I Bravo, bravo all the way. Let's keep it moving here. The next one is um natural y'all. Okay, va 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 vu. Natural sensual laying and rare heartwood so i'm already thinking about earthy i'm thinking about woodsy but it's saying sensual so i'm thinking it's probably gonna be like boom bow in your face it's gonna give you something i'm thinking it might be a little like an incense type smell vibe it might give me but let's go ahead and give it a sniff here okay Y'all, just as I just as I explained and just what I expected. And y'all, you know I ain't really too much for an earthy type, woodsy type vibe. Mmm. Yeah. The lane lane, you get a little bit of that, but that heartwood, that woodsy, that tree fragrance is definitely coming through. Ooh. Um like you might like it, but me personally, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna have to pass on this. Oh, that okay? We're down to three more. The next one is resonance tonka and rich agarwood. Agarwood. Okay. I'm already thinking this is gonna be maybe some vanilla, some bean fireside type scent with an earthy wood there you know earthy and woodsy you know is always i think what most winter fragrances are but let's go ahead and give this a sniff hello there my husband just walked in babe come smell us come here what did you say <laughs> he said he can't help me this is surprisingly exactly what I was describing before I smelled it. Let's get a man's take. Say hi. <laughs> it's too close to the camera. <laughs> okay, smell. What do you think this is? What do you think, how does it smell? It's like woodsy. Mm-hmm. Like a lumber man. A lumber, okay, that's different. Is it giving you winter vibes? Yes. yes, hot chocolate. Hot chocolate? Okay. Oh, you imagine like, oh, having it in the, the fireside with a hot cup of hot chocolate? Yeah. Okay. Please delete the scene. No, you <laughs> said please delete the scene. But there goes a man's perspective <laughs> on fragrances. But, um, y'all, this definitely had me surprised. I do like this one. Um, I will say, they hit the nail. It's definitely like a fireside smell. So if this is reminding me like glamping, you know, if you ain't, you know, down with the real camping thing. Um, this is definitely giving campsite, campsite vibes. I'm getting that, that wood, that fresh log woods just set out on the fire. You know what I'm saying. I, I, it just smells it smells good y'all it's like jade fur and baltic cypress so i don't know why i'm imagining like some type of evergreen type tree and baltic when i'm thinking about baltic i'm thinking about the baltic sea or whatever but i don't know <laughs> 
Ooh, okay, I didn't even put it to my nose, but I'm smelling it. It's coming up. Oh, gosh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. This is like a nice, you know how winter scents are normally warm, toasty. This is like a winter scent that's like clean and crisp. This reminds me like you're on top of like, you know I'm always taking you out to the mountains. Like every, like almost every fragrance I'm described, yeah, up to the mountains, let's go to the mountains. Like when it's like a fresh and earthy scent. This scent reminds me like you're like snow capped mountains. Like you up there for some reason. I mean, obviously I guess for the view, but you're right there. It's like fresh snow that has just fallen and you're bundled up and you're just looking down below at this just beautiful scenery. You see the town below and it's just like, wow, just breathtaking. And it's just like that fresh, crisp snow air, but you're near the water. I'm getting like some type of marine type of smell. I don't know, but not like a stinky marine, like a fresh, clean water scent, snow. Yes. Yes, 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 and yes, y'all. Okay. And lastly, but not final, okay, is Crystalline Amber and Orange Clove. Crystalline Amber and Orange Clove. So like I said, Amber, you put that in any type of scent, it is gonna make you warm and toasty. And why am I feeling like it's gonna be similar to Oh, what was another one that had the, oh, I feel like it might be similar to the Mandarin and Warm Mandarin, the Mandarin and Warm Amber. I'm feeling like this might be similar, but this has clove. All right. Okay. Okay. You're definitely getting that orange smell. Slight clove, not too much. The amber is like, it's meandering in between the clove and orange. Excuse me, but at first scent, baby, that orange is coming through. It is saying, hello, how are you? I am here, I am here to take over the show, okay? Mmm, that is nice, it's, you know. It's not no cheesy orange, okay? It's a sophisticated orange with that clove in there and that amber. And it is definitely a nice, warm, and winter scent. <sighs> um, Y'all, okay, so it has been fun, y'all. I will see you on the next video. I hope you enjoyed. I mean, let me know, let me know down below what fragrance you think you would like from this collection. Like, like what type of winter scents are you drawn to do you like warm and cozy nutty woodsy um fresh clean let me know down below and if you give it a try let me know as well all right again you all thanks for tuning in i will see you on the next video until then live life goldenly bye